So we were out having a big company lunch and we had some guests here with us, some good friends from north of the border. And we got a call for a truck that is stuck in the sand out here. It's got a big trailer. So on our way back, we're just gonna head out here and see if we can get it. The weird story, this is gonna look totally set up, but it's not. The Morvera's on a trailer because it was coming back for another job and went straight to the lunch function. So we've got this truck full of some of gridlessness crew. If you guys are uh, familiar with their YouTube channel. Behind us, we've got Hefe with some other members of our crew. We've got the Morvera on a trailer in the back. Behind that, we got Tom Tom in Blue Steel. He's got the rest of the gridlessness crew. Gridlessness, gridlessness. Say it with me, gridlessness. So anyway, we're gonna stop and get this out. And uh, now we gotta talk fast to get three trucks and like 20 people through the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Are you just coming in for the day or are you? I'm Matt with Matt's off road oh, recovery. Yeah, you're all we're good. We're gonna go get this. Okay. These three trucks, it looks yeah. like we're gonna go in and go swimming, but we're not. We're just coming back from a lunch function. Yeah. So we're just gonna get that guy okay. out. Okay, yeah, you're all good. Thank you. Yeah, have a nice one. Barely an inconvenience. All right, we got here. Look at this. But there's the vehicle right there. We're gonna go get it out. So, before they put these pads in here, we used to drive right through there and go right to the water. Yeah. But as we're coming in, they're all blocked off. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to the, the soonest road, which was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna have to pull you backwards right. here because this just gets really right. bad in that direction. Well, let's look at this, see what we're up against. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew I wasn't going anywhere, so I stopped. Otherwise, I would have dug this thing in. I mean, where I'm going to go, I went and checked it out in my side-by-side, -side, and there's no problem. Okay. It's back Yeah, now. we'll just get you back on the road. Okay. Alright. Jeff, I'm putting you to work. Okay, good. Grab that end. Lizzie, you grab this in. So the reason we're going backwards with this, we usually don't do that because there's these trailers usually don't have a really great way to connect. But the truck's not super stuck. It's not going to take a lot of force. And forward is a terrible, terrible plant. So we're just going to get this back on the road right here. So we're rigging up we're just a little bit special here. So Lizzie, go down that side. We're going to be going around this with that soft shackle. Around. So just right around right around that. You didn't know you're gonna have to work for your lunch. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Oh look at you. Bella. Is Monkey. Is Bella, right Is Bella the you. other dog? Behind you. Oh come on. <laughs> Bella. Okay, you in reverse? Yeah. Okay, parking brake off. Steering wheel straight. Okay, don't give it any gas yet. No, no, no. I'll just tell you when to start easing on the gas. Is that okay? What's that? Yeah, it's an overflow. Okay. That's a heavy rig. 
Yeah. Okay, Lindsay, go, go kind of pull us up off the side of the road so we're not blocking everything. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Okay, sure. So what's your plan now? We're going to head down <laughs> over there where it's a nice paved road and go over there near those other trailers good deal. find a good spot all right that was pretty awesome to be able to pick up that job just on the way back so we got him pulled out of there luckily he hadn't buried himself so it didn't take a lot of pressure to pull him back onto the road but we got it so we got a call for a razor that's tipped over and smashed itself up out on the trail called plan b so we're gonna head out there and get it but if you remember last time we took the trailer out the winch quit working the the clutch did so we are in a mad dash to get a new winch put on here so that we can go out there. Okay, here it goes. World's fastest winch install. Good, right? That's good enough. That's good enough for today. All right, another temporary fix. It will be you later. wait. You wait. We are gonna we are gonna give this the proper amount of love later. Later. But much any, later. Any given moment. All right. So we got that put on there in record time, but it was quitting time. So Lizzie took off on us. A little cloudy, but nice day. No wind for a change. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. This will be a fun job. Be good to have the winch running again. We'll see how it works. So I heard this thing went over and ripped one of its wheels and tra like the trailing arm off. We might be wrestling a little bit to get it on, but that's the way it goes. All right, so the customer said they're down here by the Freedom Rocks. That's where the flag and the benches are. There's a section of Plan B that goes right by there. So that's where we're gonna look first. Makes sense to me. All right, we can see him over here in the distance. How's it going? Better. Who's the driver of this machine right here? Me. So how'd it go? It was great till it wasn't. <laughs> what happened, I'm going up, I never take it out of lock on a four-wheel drive with uh -huh. this new Pro R. And for some reason, I took it out to make a turn somewhere to make it easier, forgot to lock it in going up this hill, and down it came. Oh, right here, huh? Yeah, right there, and then flipped it. You flipped it? You went all the way over? Oh, yeah. We got a mess. That's what we got. Oh. We, we, can, we can winch it over, and if need be, we could probably unbolt this side. These what, what if we hook the winch up here? And, and put your trailer there and then just kind of work it back to the trailer right that, on. I'd, I'd rather go on backwards. Okay, well I would so do if it. We could, if we can keep some tension <coughs> this way like you're saying. And then just back it down. Yeah, yeah, because we, we'd go high like, like hook it up. Yeah, hook well it up. We, we've reached it up already. Uh, hook it up here, right just, to pick, here. just to pick this side up. So get, huh? get, get the one yeah, in let's position. Just, and then we'll just slowly back it down onto yeah. a trailer. How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah, so just set up set up right here. 
and I'll just point down here. Let's, let's try backing it up there. Let's see how that looks. Okay. It's already out. Oh, I know, but I mean pulling out of the hub. Well, if it if the tire's not spinning, it won't be it won't matter. That's right. No. Okay. Uh, I think I can go right here. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll go around here and oh yeah, I'll pull that up. Uh huh. Now that guy's stout. You can just ride it like that. Good, probably. Let's take a little pressure off from it. This shouldn't be a problem. Let's let's roll it and see what happens. Okay. Okay, pull a little more. Back up a little. Pull, keep pulling. Okay, that's good. Okay, straighten out your wheel. And let it out just a little. Okay, stop. Well, I guess that'll come down. Like ice. Okay, just let me, ah, okay? let me glue myself. Should have saw that coming. We don't really have to strap that wheel up right now. This one we can yeah, just leave it as it is. Yeah, we'll just yeah, it's, it's just gonna lean over.
we're gonna take kind of the long way out of here because oh, yeah. we can't climb them big dunes. Go so we got, we got to zigzag through the dunes and then we'll just go down to the water tank. Yeah. Hopefully your address will come through. I know I can get, I know I can get up the little waterfall up there, so maybe that's the way I'll go. Okay. Yeah, that's just a short one. Yeah, I'm gonna try that one. see us drive into the dunes just like we just drive straight in but then when we're loaded we zigzag out and we've actually had comments where people thought we were taking an alternate route for dramatic effect but the truth is when I'm empty I can drive straight over the soft dunes up the big hills but now that we're loaded everything's changed and I've got to pick my route out of here carefully or else we're spending the night. up on this one. One of you grab that ash and just kick it. It's what do I need? There. Good enough. Wow. Doesn't get more perfect than that, does it? It looks sad. You know what? It kind of felt sad. So a shirt you want. Is this like a badge of honor? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Badge of honor, my bud. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There you go for that. Well, we didn't get to use the winch today. No. <laughs> we did better safe than sorry, which is a little unusual, right? Yep. Because I'd rather be sorry than safe. 
<laughs> did it the other way around today. Yes, I did. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you. Yeah, you guys have a great night. Okay, you too. All right, that wasn't too bad. Um, it's really nice when the customers, the, all the friends were there ready to help and very capable. So that was super nice. That's a long job with your engineering. We got it done. <laughs> well, have I got some good news for you. The Midnight Morvers came in. That means we're going to be shipping them out. Now, I promised you that we'd be shipping them out before Christmas. But I also promised you that they'd be signed by me. So that's what I've got to do now. <laughs> Hello, this is Matt. All right, I'm back and I'm gonna start signing and I'm wounded. Well, I was involved in a freak uh, olive can opening accident, <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna do this anyway. That's how dedicated I am. All right, we are down to the very last Midnight Morver. This is so cool. We created these so that we could help with the Dove Center for people that are in abusive situations, help get them out. You guys have really helped us a lot with these. We're gonna be shipping these out. This is the last one. I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna do this as number eight X X. Cause I don't know the real number. So I wrote eight X X. Here, Ed, you wanna sign this? All right, Jamie. Okay, and now Lizzie's gonna sign it. That's a good one, whoever gets that. All right, so we got the Midnight Morvers in. We're gonna get them to you by Christmas. If you haven't ordered one or something else off the website, today, is, which is Wednesday, the 14th of December, this is the last day that you can order something and expect in time for Christmas if you live in the lower 48 states. Thank you so much for your support and Merry Christmas.